When I first met him, he must have been like 14, and he was skating pro. He was really, really serious about it, because you could see it in his eyes. Kids loved him. They would just run past me and go to Gator. Gator, Gator, Gator all the way, yeah. He was always like, you know, top three, top five. One of the best all-around skateboarders ever in the history. The mid-80s was the genesis of skateboarding being marketed to the mainstream of American youth. One of the reasons I started Vision Streetwear was because of Mark. I think I need to be interviewed, not only because I'm one of the most elite skaters on the circuit, but also because I'm one of the most blatant and outspoken jerks in the industry. We created a tour to raise the level of awareness. Skater was clearly a star of the tour. We created a huge press image for him. He took it upon himself to get good, but the entire business and marketing to the point where he got very good at it, maybe too good for his own benefit. Fame is one of the worst drugs of all. They recognized him as a skate stud. You could have easily forgot where he came from, and you're making money and a lot of money, you know? Street skating became the hot thing to do. Vert skating was completely out. It was a moment in time that was starting to be over. When Gator was drinking, anything could happen. What are you laughing at? What do you do with yourself when your fame's gone? I thought that Mark and I would get married and live happily ever after. It's all bad. I just hope that he realizes how he affected everyone's life. This is a Barishnikov ballet of skateboarding. I apologize for making a mess, for going out of control, and for bringing a bad name for skateboarding. How do you plead to that charge? It kills me.